I've been hesitant to grab one of these sets because I thought they weren't a set I wanted. But with LEGO bringing out a War Machine version of their mech, and me being an Iron Man fan, I had to grab it. But are these sets just cash grabs by LEGO? Or are these sets actually good value for money and highly collectible? Let's check it out. This is the War Machine mech armor set number 76277. It features 154 pieces and was released not too long ago as part of the waiver sets released in March of this year. The draw with these sets is the low price and the mech build which builds upon the theme of the minifigure the set includes. In this case we get the war machine minifigure and a mech with grey and silver accents that the minifigure can be put inside of but somehow doesn't look ridiculously out of scale. Usually the price for this kind of set is $12.99 but I got it for a little bit less than £11 which isn't as much as a saving as I usually try to get but a saving nonetheless. Taking a look at the box art and the mech takes centre stage with War Machine inside the mech which looks to be jumping up in the air whilst firing one of its stud launchers of which this mech has many of. In the top right corner we see Iron Man with the text above showing us that this is a set from the Infinity Saga of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with War Machine in the bottom right of the box. Turn the box around on the back we see the war machine minifigure out of the mech with his helmet off revealing Rhodey's face underneath with a hairpiece allowing you to choose whether the minifigure has its helmet on or off. Below that we see the three stud launchers on this mech which is quite a lot for such a small set with the picture beside showing you where to store the studs that aren't being loaded into the launchers. In the box we find three little bags full of lego parts, no sticker sheet which is always a bonus and instructions to build this awesome little set. So this is what the set looks like all built. The mech suit itself builds off the colour scheme of the character that sits inside. So we have a lot of grey with some lighter grey parts dotted around like the all machine armour itself. This chest piece is the only printed part in this set and depicts the armour's power source and completes the mech quite nicely. Building the set was relatively easy. You start with the chest, then the groin, then you build and attach both arms. The only difference between the arms is one has a stud shooter built in to it then you build the legs and feet and attach those so not a bad build experience at all and no stickers like i said which is always a bonus all of the stud shooters on the mech work as they should and i love this little backpack that this set has to store the studs that don't go into the shooters that is removable as well and the minifigure is easily put in and taken out my only complaint is sometimes it is quite awkward to pose the mech because some parts block in certain movements and maybe more detail on some of the parts would have been great but that's about it. So there is only one minifigure included in this set and that's the War Machine minifigure which is actually exclusive for this set and this is why sometimes I think these sets can be a bit of a cash grab because sometimes they feature minifigures that are exclusive to the set and therefore if you are a completionist you will absolutely have to buy this set to complete the collection. If you're like me and not bothered then it's nice but not a massive factor in buying this set. Anyway, the minifigure itself is all right. There is printing on the helmet, which is also able to be opened to show Rhodey's face. Printing is also present on the front and back of the torso, with some appearing on the front of the legs as well. There's been a few War Machine minifigures. This is one I own from the Iron Man Armoury set, which I have reviewed in the past. But the minifigure included in this mech set is very basic, and I'm not sure why the arms are lighter, as I don't think we've seen any War Machine armors in the movie that have lighter arms. I could be wrong though. If I am wrong, please tell me in the comments. With this minifigure, you can also take its helmet off and use the included hairpiece to display roads out of the suit, which is a nice inclusion. So whilst I have some complaints about the mech suit and the minifigure, this set is only £12.99, which I'm not gonna lie, still seems a little bit steep. Having had a look around, it looks like this set is on sale for around the £10 mark in various places, which is much more in line with what I want to pay. Besides that, it is a cool little set if you can get it for a good price and fancy a nice little Lego build, they definitely get this set. So guys, what do you think of this set? Do you have loads of these? Have you never bought one before? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.